Hello friends. So as far as research concerned, now we are heading towards the topics which will be beneficial for seminar or giving seminar for UG and PG students of mathematics. We are taking into the various volumes. So let us go for this volume one in which we will see some basic and interesting topics which one student uh, of UG mathematics as well as PG mathematics can go for giving the seminars. Okay. As compared to the other subject as we know mathematics is the subject where one cannot directly take the apparatus or object and start taking the readings or some kind of explanation which also works as a seminar topic for the particular subject but not for the mathematics. As we know mathematics is queen of a science itself tells everyone that to explain every topic in mathematics one has to take care of each word this is important okay so at the time of giving the seminar you have to take care of spelling each word and telling each word what i'm saying spelling each word and telling each word okay including its origin information applications to the real life world so we are going to explain let's see some realistic interesting topics which one can take as a seminar topic in mathematics for ug and pg as well as we'll have various volumes let us have volume one first and let's see some interesting topic so the first topic is fibonacci series and the sequence or fibonacci sequence as we always have the sequence one first two terms of that sequence that is one one then the next term is the addition of previous one that is one plus one two then the next term the addition of previous one two that is two plus one three then three plus two five you can see this cell shape that is 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 8 21 21 plus 13 34 and so on so you can arrange this you can give these names that x1 x2 x3 the first term is x1 second term is x2 third term is x3 and so on that is in general nth term of this sequence okay so the nth term of the sequence is the addition of previous two terms that is xn minus 1 plus xn minus 2 so what are the things you can tell to the students as well as your teacher that is history about fibonacci history about fibonacci sequence history of numbers that is how that numbers that is origin of numbers that how these numbers are translated or transformed you can say are transformed from indian continent towards the european continent through the middle of east middle of east asia or you can say that with the help of fibonacci so he is a mathematician fibonacci who has termed this coin then you can have lots of properties of fibonacci so you can have this squares of fibonacci number so if you squares this fibonacci number and arrange them once again as follow below that one that is one square one one square one then 2 square 4 then you can have 3 square that is 9 and so on so if you see that numbers the addition of that numbers Fibonacci sequence gives you the following numbers that is the square of the Fibonacci numbers or you can say square of the Fibonacci sequence this property can you can see this from the YouTube that is TEDx okay that educational uh, lecture you can have that one properties of fibonacci sequence and application yes the most important and sweet application is towards the rabbit problem okay that is what you can have the first that is interesting topic seminar that is fibonacci sequence or fibonacci series this is, will be useful for all ug and pg students you can give it to this sequence or you can explain it in briefly for one and a half hour also and for one and a half minute also in one and a half minute you can quickly revise all the data application and in one and a half hour also you can completely revise all the data all the important information applications then next one we have as an application of Fibonacci sequence that is the golden ratio though these have the common something common that is you can have that 
the ratio of this Fibonacci sequence converges towards the golden ratio there is 1.6181 and so on you can have the history of this golden ratio and the origin of this golden ratio how this golden ratio is formed then you can give some properties of golden ratio which you can download it from google yes applications are various important applications are towards the construction of pyramids you can see on the google image in the google image how these pyramids construction have the ratio height and base ratio is approximately equal to the golden ratio then you can have mona lisa drawing how this golden ratio were there in the mona lisa drawing then photography then you have face recognition etc there are lots of applications you can have this one so this one will be the important or you can have useful for your seminar topic then comes the next that is transportation problem as we have various problems that is giving the transporting one point or transporting something goods some goods from point a to point b via various road then what is the minimum transportation cost with minimum time and minimum distance that is what we want so to overcome this problem yeah, once you have one and two road it is easy to find out but when you have from a to b thousands of road it's not just about roads it about uh, you can say uh, in computers also application that is transportation problem then we have this transportation problem so you can give some important information about transportation then history of transportation problem how it comes into the focus in during the world war second second world war and then you have the properties in properties or you can say you can explain all uh, the basic three types of transportation problem that is wham northeast and the simple transportation problem you can take it from the google yes definitely and applications one of the most application is towards the real life transportation problem yes the next one is beautiful one just say pi you can have the information and history about pi origin of symbols everything about pi then you can have properties of pi lots of important and sweet properties are there you can do download all the properties from pyday.org mathsisfun.com etc you can have lots of uh, websites for finding out the values of pi also and the most beautiful application that everyone has is their birthday in a decimal of that pi decimal expansion of pi so just put up your total bird date okay into that expansion and you can find out where is your birthday stands at is that at thousand place or at one lakh place or at millions of place or at trillions of place and so on okay that is the interesting one you can have then you have chinese postman problem as an application of graph theory then you can in contains just history and origin of the problem then you can explain the method or algorithm okay just chinese postman problem is just a postman problem that postman is coming out of the post and here to give all the postcards to each and every one house with minimum distance with minimum time so which pattern or which road he can use so that the postman can post all the cards to each and every house in with minimum stipulated time and with shortest distance that is what we have application real life problem application then as the same one that is chinese postman problem we have descartes algorithm history you can find out the history as well as origin of the problem that is you can bifurcate your seminar into these three parts okay just in the first two or three minutes give the history of the descartes problem and the origin of the problem then in the properties explain that algorithm descartes algorithm by using simple graph shortest graph and find out the shortest route 
that is from a to b a to c a to d and so on so i have to find out shortest route from one point to all other points that is what the real life application problem okay yes then what we have now the coming to the new era of mathematics that is fractals this is somewhat very much beautiful you can see the patterns in the trees okay you can see same patterns in the trees at smaller level also and at the larger level also that are nothing but the fractals you can have the history containing origin of fractal and the history of fractal this one is very much simple those who can good in english those are good in english they can find out the lots of information it, it, this does not require too much of mathematics okay too much this does not require too much of in detail mathematics at least for the seminar point of view seminar point of view okay and you can talk too much on this topic because it's a uh, lots of applications lots of examples are there okay and lots of examples different kinds of fractals you can find out and this does not require uh, for at least for the seminar uh, as i said earlier point of view does not require much mathematics okay so there are properties and applications is most applications the important application is in computer graphics and in nature then once again you have as i said for the fractals and also saying for the fuzzy mathematics that is the next point or topic you can have fuzzy mathematics information history about fuzzy mathematics and origin of problem that is what we have the values between on and off that is between 0 and 1 now we have the values also between 0 and 1 that is what the fuzzy stands for that is values between 0 and 1 and its applications so you can explain fuzzy sets fuzzy logic in mathematics once again as i said for the fractals also and here for the fuzzy mathematics also those who have good english can understand mathematical english properly then you can take this topic rather going for in detail mathematics okay this at least for the seminar point of view it this does not require lots of mathematics for explaining the thing then we have Fermat's last theorem yes what we have the x square plus y square plus equal to z square in general what we have x raised to n plus y raised to n equal to z raised to n what that Fermat says okay and then you can have this history along with the origin then you can have the how the peoples are finding the proofs for various values of n then you can explain about Andrew Wise who have given the proof thousands of pages of proof okay the proof of how this Andrew Wiles comes over the proof okay from the age of eight he is thinking about that I have to prove this proof so you can explain each and everything about the proof at least uh, seminar point of view not in detail mathematics point of view okay and once again we have the applications in number theory then next one we have simple one that is ruler and compass construction that is just you have a ruler which have only marking of one centimeter say or one unit instead of centimeter we'll say one unit okay not two three only one unit marking of one unit and you have compass so by using ruler and compass can you square the circle with equal area can you trisect an angle so there are lots of applications this is an application of algebra in detail it's an application of field theory so those who are in postgraduate student they can go for this ruler and compass construction topic then you can have quantum calculus yes those who are in UG also and those who are in PG also and know, knows much better calculus at least understand calculus much better can go for quantum calculus which is a new topic to the teachers also to the researchers also okay the definitions are very much simple at least up to the seminar point of view you can take out various definitions properties from quantum calculus various books are available in e format or various definitions that is the definitions in various pdf files or you can say journal publications papers are available 
most of that definition basic definition is q calculus and h calculus you can take it from the wikipedia also okay this is this one is interesting so those who are interested in calculus or knows well much limit continuity differentiability at least this definition good well then they can go for quantum calculus what is quantum calculus is calculus without limit in other word that is what we have this f dash of a is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a upon h what quantum calculus stands for there is no limit just we have f of a plus h minus f of a upon h with some conditions so that is what we have quantum calculus so what we have the derivative continuity and so on okay then we have iot that is internet of thing so uh, this one may be a part of mathematics or may not be a part of mathematics depending upon the student choice internet of things and origin of internet of things yes how this today's world is totally based upon internet okay that is what you can have find out various device say for example uh, nowadays we have a fan with remote also we have acs with remote already but now we have a fan with remote which consists of one hour two hour three hour four hour duration also so that is you can have as, as an application of internet of things okay you can have real life problems also then we have matrix algebra yes you can have this is somewhat very much beautiful interesting topic one can have yes ug and pg students can understand we know that e raised to x is summation x raised to n upon n factorial in the similar way what they are going that x is replaced by a matrix that is e raised to a equal to summation a raised to n upon n factorial and what that a raised to n stands for a into a into a n times that is what you have so that is just one simple you can say property okay there are lots of important definitions in matrix algebra you can give the history and origin and some basic properties can be proved because as it is a new topic to the teachers also and students also researchers also some teachers not all the teachers some teachers also you can have this matrix algebra as a introduction to matrix algebra as a your seminar topic in competitions also okay then you can have a trees yes in graph theory this has uh, lots of applications in real life world for example google facebook search engine google search engine also okay so you can have this trees origin okay properties say properties say of some properties of trees that is a trees as we have a real life tree you can see when you see the tree it has a one root like the same thing in tree we have one root okay that is what we have it is called as a root and then we have the various edges to that tree okay having friends of friends of friends of friends it's facebook nothing but a tree application of tree google search engine when you put up one word it just collect all the web pages connected to that word that is what your application of tree or you can say as the application of graph theory there are lots of important topics that are interesting one in this volume one we have covered for UG and PG some simple topics now we'll go for in volume two for PG students also for the researchers which will be helpful to them thank you thank you very much